What up, Sauce Drops? Welcome back for another Fallout video. And we're going to check out something that I have been neglecting since pretty much the time I graduated high school in 2010 when this game came out. I don't know how to play Caravan. Do you guys know? Let me know in the comment section if you guys already know. But today, we're going to learn how. So let's start it off by looking at the rules and getting into a couple games. So the rules of caravan. Your goal is to create three caravans that range between 21 and 26 in value. Anything above or below will not win you the game. And you need to win two out of three in order to win the entire hand of caravan. Now, whenever you place your cards in the middle, you have three cards that you place first, and that's what you play off of for the rest of the game, unless it's removed in one of the ways that we'll talk about in just a minute. Now, you place a card there and you play in either ascending or descending order, depending on what card you play on it next. So let's say I put a 10 and I played a 9 on it, then the next card I would have to play is an 8 or below in order to play a card on that. So there are different methods of doing this and different decks that people do. I just randomize it because Honestly, I'm not that in-depth with it yet, but we're going to learn how to do that in the future. So, But there are ways you can stack your deck kind of to win a little bit more. But the hard part of this is the face cards and remembering what they do. So a Joker is probably the most tricky out of all of it. The Joker gives you the chance to remove cards off the table. So if you placed a Joker on like an Ace of Spades, it would remove every card that is a spade on the table that is not a face card. So if there's like a two of spades, a six of spades, and a nine of spades, those would be removed. Now, if you played it on a four of spades, it would remove every other four that's on the board. A king will double the value of any card that you place it on. You could play on your opponent's side to make them bust, or you could play it on yours to get your card into the right level for the caravan. A queen reverses the order. So you remember how I said you'd have to play an eight or below? If I played a queen on that nine, now I could play a 10 or higher on that if I wanted to. And a jack played on a caravan will remove the entire thing. And this right here should win the game for us right here. Boom. And that's how you play Caravan. Thanks again for all your help. So let's go over it one more time. Sure. And then we'll uh, touch on the rules one more time and kind of go over them a little bit. But all in all, it's a pretty, uh, pretty simple game after you figure it out. It just takes a minute to figure it out. That's a lot of face cards we got right now. Hold on to that. Let's uh, go ahead and remove all the fours. Put that there on that one. Put that one right there. That should be 21 right there. Nice. Take that and that should raise that and win the game. There it is, two out of three. 
And we'll try to do one more, see if we can win three in a row. Sure. And we will call that one there. Alrighty, dealing out the cards. As you can see, I have a lot of twos. So we're just going to play some twos, because we can always build up from two. I know it doesn't give you a lot to start off with, but it's easier to go up than it is to go down at that point. So they took away one of my twos. Rude. So we'll put a four down. And we'll do the same thing. We'll put a three on this one. Put a seven on it. Then an eight. As you can see, this queen right here, like we were talking about how it changes directions. If I put that three right there, that means we're now going up. So I can put this eight right here and keep counting up. Go ahead and take that row off. That should be 21 right there. And with that, we should be able to put that six there, and that should be 21 there as well. And that should win the game. There it is, three out of three. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned how to play Caravan today, because I did. And honestly, it's not that difficult. I don't know why I was putting it off for so long. Um, but the rules seem pretty simple. The only difficult part is the jokers and realizing what that does. Um, but after you kind of get that down, it's pretty simple. So just to go over the rules one more time, your goal is to create th uh, two of three caravans at least and win those. A caravan has to be between 21 and 26 in value. Anything above or below won't win it for you. And if they have a 25 on it and you have a 24, then they would win. Now, a jack will get rid of whatever row is there. A queen reverses the order of uh, the cards that you're being able to place. So if you're going ascending and you put a queen, you'll be able to go descending order at that point. A king doubles the value of the card that it's placed on. And a joker will let you erase cards. So if you play it on a four, it would erase every four on the board other than that one. If you put it on an ace of spades, it will remove every spade that is a regular card. No face cards will be removed at that point. So, it turns out that Caravan is actually a really great way of making money in New Vegas. Who would have thought? <laughs> so, let me know. Are you guys going to play any Caravan a little bit more in your New Vegas runs? I hope it helps out. And I know I will be. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, keep it saucy.